Hello friends, welcome back to Excel Fundamental Tutorial from TechOzo. In this video, we'll take you through Pivot Table. Pivot Table, one of the most powerful and useful features in Excel. With very little effort and no formulas, you can use a Pivot Table to build a good-looking report for a large data set. Also, you can look at the same data from many different perspectives. You can group data into categories, break down data into years and months, filter data to include or exclude categories, and even build a chart. In this tutorial video, we'll introduce Pivot Table and the benefits step by step with sample data. I have a plan to introduce Pivot Table in two parts, and this is the part one. In this tutorial, I have taken a sample data content 400 plus record with 7 fields of information such as date, color, reason, representative units, unit price and sales value. I know this data is very generic but generic data is good for understanding pivot table. Source data is most important to build error free pivot table and therefore ensure there is no blank rows, no blank column and no merge cell. Table of format data is required to complete pivot table. Table format is which having one row of headers and they describe the data. Once your sort data is ready, simply click on pivot table in the insert tab of the ribbon and Excel will appear a pivot table window and notice that data range is already filled in and if you want to change the range, click on the blue button and select data range. And in the below, asking for where you want the pivot table to be placed. By default, new worksheet selected and you have an option to select customer's location in existing worksheet too. In this tutorial, let's move ahead with the new worksheet. Soon after I click pivot table, a new worksheet has been created with new pivot table area. Notice, in this right side, a new pivot table field and we are going to use this pivot pen. We can see all the headers fields of source data are available here and down below areas will drag and drop the fields to build the pivot table. Add field. Drag sales revenue. Let's drag sales revenue in the sales daily rule and Excel calculate the grand total that is 151960. This is the sum of all sales value in this entire data set. Now, drag the sales representative field in the row area. Excel break out the cells by representative. Notice the grand total remains same. This makes sense because we are still reporting on the same full set of data. So what basically happened, let me check the value shown over here whether it's correct. See, Jill have the revenue is 24631 and let's go to the source data and filter the representative and select GL. You can see the sum of the repre representative showing the same pivot, same data in the pivot table. So it's a very powerful tool to pivot table. Just a few click, you can find out the representative was total revenue with a nice summary. Sorting my value. Now I'm going to sort this value and high value will be the top and lower value will be the bottom. To do so, select any cell of revenue column, right click, sort, sort largest to smallest. The sort will be maintained when data is changed or new or when the table, when the pivot table is reconfigured. Numbering format. Pivot table can apply and maintain numbering format automatically to numeric field. This is a big time saver when data get changed frequently. Easy to apply number format, click any cell of the sales revenue and right click of number, right click on number format and apply currency format with zero decimal place. Then click OK. In the resulting pivot table, all sales below have currency applied, currency format will continue to apply it in the sales value. Even when the pivot table is reconfigured or new data set is added. Isn't it exciting? 
basic pivot tables are very simple to set up and customize. There is no need to learn complicated formulas. You can create a good looking useful report with a pivot table in a minute. Even if you are very good with formulas. This is all for this video on pivot table part 1 and next video we will learn about pivot table chart, refresh data, group, calculation type and many more. Thank you for tuning in and wish you all the very best to become an excel expert. If you found this video helped you to learn something, you may like, share and subscribe to stay tuned. Have a nice day and see you soon in the next video.